Hello, people of the internet. Okay, so what we're doing today is going to look at the texture packs, the new type of texture packs in the new Minecraft snapshots. So we're going to be looking at that, and I'm going to show you how to do the animations in the texture packs. Also showing you that it does support high definition texture packs now. So uh, what you're going to find is in text packs now there's a textures folder and within that is blocks and items and these are just single picture files of all the different blocks so now rather than having one big sheet of textures like it did before in the terrain.png so rather than having all the textures like this all bunched up together and whatnot. All the textures are now separated out into single texture files. So there's a burning stand base there. Here's a little thing I made earlier. This is not a standard 16 by 16 texture. This is actually now a 32 by 32 texture, which could be considered high definition. Probably not though. But anyway. This program here I'm using is GIMP, if you don't know. Um, I'll probably put a link or something. But um, anyway, here's a redstone torch, and that's a basic animation I put on it. And it looks quite good. And so it's higher resolution than normal micro textures. So this shows that it can work in high definition things. It also shows that it can be animated. It's quite easy to animate as well. So, I'm going to be showing you how to do that, and uh, might as well do that now. So, let's take the standard stone texture here, so open that up, open that up, there we are. Okay, so here's your stone texture, it's 16 by 16 pixels, and that's that's the texture that Minecraft normally has. So uh, let's draw a nice little animation on it, shall we? So to do that, basically you want to be copying and pasting it, however many times down. So it, the, currently the texture size, this picture, is 16 by 16 pixels. And so we want to change the scale of it. Not like that, but so the actual uh, size of the image, so it stretches downwards. So you want to change the height to, let's say we want a four frame animation, so we change that to 64. So 16 by 64. Now you always want that up the top. So this is the frames of animation. So you'd have, you just copy and paste this. And GIMP's being stupid. Right, yes, yeah, so. Yeah, so. Uh, copy and paste this. And paste them one after the other. And these things I'm dragging down here just sort of show, easily show the boundaries of each layer. And there. Right. Okay. So there's our four frames of animation that we have. And what we're going to do is just draw something on here so we can see that it's being animated. So I don't know. Just draw a line there. Then. I don't know. Draw that same line, but extend it a bit. Something simple like that. But that will show you an animation. So it will cycle through these frames. So it'll go this one, and this one, and this one, and then this bottom one. And it'll go back up to the top. That's how the animation works. And so we just save that. So if we look at that, that's just stone repeated four times down with lines drawn on it. And if we open up Minecraft, Minecraft, 
So you can see I'm using the new snapshot. I've already got the texture pack selected. So we'll pop into a map. And oh, look at that stones being spazzy. But that's an animation of a texture. A really crappy one. But there you go. So you can see it's cycling through the four, flame, four frames. And that looks really rubbish. But there you go, that's what you can do with the texture pack now. You can see here I'm holding a redstone torch. So that was the other one I showed you. So that's actually a high definition, as it were. I quite like that. But yeah, this shows that textures can be animated. And this is not a mod or anything. This is actually part of Minecraft now, which is very nice. Yeah. So that looks rubbish, but that's just an example. Okay. Now I'm going to show that you can actually have proper high definition textures in here. So I'm going to do undo all of that. There we go. Now, what I have here is the uh, an old Sfax. Uh, text pack and this is a high definition this is a 64 by 64 version so what we're gonna do image and scale and we change this to 64 because it's a 64 text pack we scale it up so it looks the same but it's actually more pixels so you can put more detail into it for example but yeah what we're gonna do is just copy the stone from Sfax onto here, simple as that. There you go. And so this just shows the high definition te texture packs will work. So that's the 64 by 64 texture now. And so if we pop into Minecraft again, There we are. Doesn't that look nice and stuff? So that is the high definition, a high def proper high definition texture pack in Minecraft. It looks rather nice. So that shows you that texture packs can now be much much better than before without having to mod it or anything. So this would just be in standard Minecraft. You can do the same for items as well. So here we have an apple. So if we open the apple in here, we can scale it up. So we have the apple there, we just make it larger. And then we can then animate the apple, which is quite nice. Here we are, We've got all the apples there. And then you can animate them in weird ways or whatever. I don't know, I'm rubbish at doing animations. I don't know. But this will show, so we overwrite it again. So there we are, basic texture pack animation. So this is coming in from a texture pack. I'm not modifying the jar file or anything. There's actually a text pack that's loading in. Just pop in again. We grab an apple. Here it is, food. So now apples have this cool little, I don't know, animation y thing. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but that just shows that text packs can be changed much more now which I think is awesome.
Anyway, I think that's about it from me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you again next time.